Ready to be a man? Time to drop some fucking pounds. Stay hard. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Giga Complex. I'm your boy, Mana, and we're here with the Big Benny B. That's the name I'm going with, Big Benny B. This is fucking, yeah, Big Benny. What? You want me, want me to call well, you? Want me to call you Sunshine with your bald head? <laughs> yes. Well, like, fuck, fuck it. We're calling him. Okay, Big Benny B. Sunshine. There you go. Sunshine Media. <laughs> Copy, I mean, copyright ensued. Let's. I fucking mean, go. Big Benny B. Kind of works with the whole topic we're going to approach today. <laughs> so, all right. Enough. So guys, what we're talking about today, this is going to be a new show on the channel. So this is everything about masculinity, everything about being a guy, all rolled into one. This is the Giga Complex. So today we're going to be talking about dropping the fucking pounds, because I know I needed to shed a couple. I've been actually shedding for quite a little bit. We're going to be touching on how I've been doing that. And Benny B, don't get me wrong, you're doing all right, but I think I think it's fair to say we can both drop a couple of pounds. And we're going to get going on how we start with that. So we're going to be looking at three points today. We're going to be talking about fasting, the keto Atkins carnivore. I'm kind of mixing them all into one because they're touching more on a very similar point. And then we're going to be talking about the uh, bitch portion of uh, calorie counting. Because <laughs> let's be honest, uh, Weight Watchers, come on, man. But anyways, we'll talk about the pros to it, and we'll talk about how it works, and whatever works for you. The important thing about being a guy is you got to shred. You got to gain the muscle. You got to shred the fucking fat. So let's go ahead and let's get back into that topic. You know, as it's kind of ironic that like us two chunky boys are going to talk about like shedding the weight. You know, like... Well, you're talking about two chunky boys. I can actually sit there on a bench press and actually bench and put on two full plates. I see guys, you know, big, chunky, and they're like, yo, I don't even want to touch the fucking handlebars. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't even want to hop on a fucking treadmill. We're the guys that, yeah, we're big, we're bulky, but we can fucking lift. We can fucking push. When we need to fucking grind, we can fucking do. I can lift this fucking table. I just appreciate my fucking coffee. I was going to say, if you're going to do it, let's just, you know, let me just. <laughs> yeah, take the coffee off. No, no. Solid table. I, I it paid you some money for this. Do I, I don't. I don't want to lose it. We're gonna do a little bit of ASMR too. Just... ASMR. Yeah. No. I'm now <laughs> sipping my cup. Man, that is a bitch sip. This is how you fucking drink it. That's how you drink fucking coffee. Your wife <laughs> is a very lucky lady. <laughs> my, no, 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 no. no. I, I, it, my wife. I, I love my wife. See, I, I'm lucky to have my. And, Did you hear that? <laughs> I, I hope she hears that. Hopefully, hopefully she hears that after post. All right. Okay. So let's get into the topic. So we're going to start off with fasting. All right, guys. So fasting, it's been around forever. It's not a new trend. Everybody's talking about it like it's some sort of fucking word on BuzzFeed. Fasting has been around forever. It's been used in religious purposes. But the essential core is essentially abstaining from eating, prolonging your eating. So, and I feel like we're going to talk about this a lot today, but a lot of the things that everybody's been told, three meals a day, you need 3,500 calories to just maintain. Man, I feel like a lot of this, even in time context, has fouled out. Fasting has been around since prehistoric times. We would fast to God going on one meal a day. And actually, that's exactly what I've been doing. About three weeks ago, I was about 320 pounds. I'm currently pushing about 295. Wow. In three weeks. That's insane. Three weeks. And it's it's hard. It, it It's not easy. I would suggest to anybody who's trying to do this, if you're thinking about it, and you're thinking about prolonging your eating, going maybe my route on one meal a day, drinking black coffee, zero calorie e-drinks, like, your calories, your, there's no caloric intake until you've had your full one meal. You got one meal to eat from, and then that's it. Reset the next 24 hours, reset the next 24 hours, and it's been doing pretty fucking good. So, biggest, biggest benefits to it we're talking about. A lot of it, <laughs> one is dropping the pounds. But it it actually helps your blood sugar levels because your insulin doesn't spike along with your meals. 
a lot of your insulin levels will also depend on what you eat. If you're thinking about fasting and then shoving back fucking 15 fucking cupcakes at your meal, that's, that's, no, don't fucking do that. I'm talking, get yourself a nice good cut of leg and thigh chicken, get some fucking good broccoli, get some good greens, get a good fucking meal. Stick away from the fucking pastas, stick away from the breads, because this, the fast is also about what you eat and where you're, where you're getting your caloric intake from. If you're focusing your calories on your proteins and on your fats more than your carbohydrates, you're going to go, you're going to go far. You're going to go fast. And it's, it's amazing. Co mental cognitivity. I've been doing some actual like Beat Saber. I know everybody's like, oh, Beat Saber VR. Uh, man, my reflexes, just like my attention span, my fucking alertness picked up right away. And uh, anybody who knows how to play that game, it's sometimes the difference. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But you actually go into like the expert mode and you got these fucking bricks flying at you like from all directions. You're like, how the fuck are you keeping up with it? Dude, it's like Goku fucking Ultra Instinct. It's an art. It, it, it is an art. It is a fucking, it's, it's something else. Um, so to have the mental capacity, mental fortitude with that, with fasting, I think I started noticing that after my first week that I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. No, the fucking mental fucking clarity. It's something else. Um, and so other studies have also said, you know, enhances the heart health and the blood sugar lowers inflammation. Absolutely. I, I, I definitely like, I, not that I've had any inflammation issues, but I definitely already just kind of feel my skin just kind of tightening up. Um, the hardest parts with fasting I've noticed is your gremlin hormone. Uh, it's the hormone that says, hey, I'm hungry. Feed me, feed me, feed me. And you need to wrap your mind about not being feeble and listening to that. You have to let that go. I found the easiest time when I'm doing my one meal a day is I have my meal at supper time. Because once I have it at supper time, that gremlin hormone is, who cares? I'm fucking sleeping. By the time I wake up, that hormone is kind of more or less tapered off to a very, very easy going state. And go back, you go, you do your day, you wake up and you grind, you come back, have your one meal at six and when Bob's your uncle. So, what do, you, what, what do you think? I think you are a great one man host because you basically covered everything we were going to talk about. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the only thing I will just quickly put in there is like if you do end up going on keto or you end up like carnivore diet like Moi did, uh, make sure that, that you're taking the right vitamins and stuff because again, uh, you may disagree with this, we're not, at least modern man is not meant to necessarily like be on those diets long term. I was puking my guts out on the carnivore diet. Uh, but that's because I wasn't taking the right, I wasn't taking the right vitamins. I wasn't, I wasn't really, you know, um, preparing myself for it. So if you, if you are going to commit to it, make sure you are committed, do your research, subscribe to this podcast. That's part of your research, do it. And uh, yeah, no, that's basically it. Anything else that? No, I mean, uh, l l let's talk about the benefits. So let's talk about carnivore diet. Let's talk about keto. Let's talk about the benefits of that. So benefits, once again, similar to fasting and uh, the weight loss portion comes to it is they use keto as the word for the diet. The proper term is ketosis. It is the process of where your body turns fat into energy versus the sugar versus the carbohydrates. You, unless you're having complex carbs, mostly non-existent in today's diet, everybody's talking, eating fucking KD and big pastas, breads, and all, 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 empty, empty. There's no complexity to it. You want the broccoli, you want the kales, you want the greens. Take a potato, that's fine, but don't fucking fry it and saturate it in fucking soybean oil. Man, we're going to talk about soy and fucking hormonal balances, but fuck, man. We'll get to that point eventually, but you want complex carbohydrates if you're going on these diets because you want something that doesn't just break down so easy where it's oh oh my gosh free sugars let's oh my gosh there's so much of it okay Whoa. let's store it back into fat it doesn't work and so you want your body to go into a ketosis where it's like oh fuck where are they okay i gotta use my stored energy and that's where ketosis starts fucking happening and with the carnivore diet you're talking all of the meats 
and everything as close to what nature intended. If you're having veggies, you're having beans, you're having pe beans, peas. Uh, if you're getting complex uh, carbohydrates, you're not having boiled fucking carrots, you're having them more raw. So the breakdown inside, uh, the enzyme breakdown in your body actually happens on a prolonged portion not spiking your sugars, not making your insulin, and your body stays, okay, well, I'm out of this stuff, I need my energy somewhere, and so your body turns to your fats and then starts using that as your energy. So what, yeah, no, and I, I guess just to kind of cap that, I will say, it's like, again, as I said before, obviously do your research before doing any of these diets. These are, maybe extreme is the wrong word, but I would say these diets are definitely, like, definitely hard on the body, I wouldn't recommend doing this long term. Like whenever I was on the carnivore diet, I tried pushing three months and my body just went on strike. But also like it's also important to explore like, hey, maybe instead of doing something like this, it's also just maybe again, just reducing your calories. And, and instead of going on a diet, you're changing your eating habits, uh, changing your permanent diet. And yes, you will not, you will not get results as quickly as you will with diets like these, like keto, carnivore, et cetera but it may be more sustainable in the long run. And hey, you will eventually get that bod as long as you commit to your diet and commit to general exercise, which we will get more into exercise a little later. But yeah, no, that's basically it for me. Anyways, long story, long story made short, legal jargon, get your doctor, do the legal blah, blah, blah. Everything they tell you is a fucking scam. Oh no. <laughs> Giga complex disclaimer. Always ask your family doctor if dieting is right for you. Let's, let's let's maybe not let's maybe not be like modern medicine is modern medicine is flunk bro like if you're looking at it. yourself in the mirror and you're saying fuck man i'm 400 pounds fucking heavy i need to do something i need to turn things around anything is better than doing nothing where you're at doesn't change anything but absolutely consult a physician absolutely have them che check your blood pressures, check, uh, do all your blood work, check your stats out, and if anything pops up, yes, follow medical advice. But you need to do the change. And that's it. And, 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 and we'll talk more about that point where, yes, modern medicine has its premise, but then uh, modern medicine also says, oh, you need, you know, fucking uh, 10 portions of fucking bread a day. No you, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, nah, absolutely. Listen to your doctor, especially your family, family physicians, your primary health care providers. They're a little bit more inclined to help you. The broader spectrum, on the other hand, eh, well, I think well, that'll be a further episode type thing. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. All right, so uh, let, let, let's talk about more of the... Uh, the, uh, the, the the bitch way it. out the the there, bitch there the bitch go. way out <laughs> yeah and by the way uh, for viewers I am I am the arbiter of the bitch way <laughs> you are the arbiter <laughs> I am the arbiter the arbiter of the bitches <laughs> so I mean just just to, just to get a fuck so I guess just to get a little peek behind the curtain here we have you know on this little sheet in front of me here we have a bunch of stuff written down honestly like so the, the main thing I'm I'm gonna talk about calorie reduction look i'm not gonna go through all this it's very simple like to put it one way which again like i've been because again like i was talking about with ben we talked about working out we talked about like committing to a more i hesitate i hesitate to say extreme diet but it's not like, extreme the, diet what you're looking for is you're looking for a lifestyle change you're at a point right now where you're not happy where you're at you need to make a change you need to dedicate to that change you need the fucking mental fortitude of a man to keep that change going. Be you need to man. look. <laughs> okay, there, Mulan. <laughs> Fuck. It's not Mulan. Wait, it's not. Is it Mulan? It is Mulan. Fuck. <laughs> right. Right, but anyway, I, I guess. I guess just like just my point is like if that sounds a little much to start, just honestly, just like the simple way to put it for calorie reduction is eat less, move more. Because again, because at the end of the day, it's like what you put into your system, you need to work off. To maintain good heart health, you think, oh man, I gotta go hit the gym. I gotta make sure, like, I'm eating basically. I gotta be living on peanuts. Like, no, you just you dedicate yourself to doing like 20 minutes of cardio a day. What that looks like is just what that looks like. It's honestly just walking on a nature path or walking around your neighborhood for 20 minutes a day. That, yes, in terms of like um, 
in terms of like, I guess let's call it man exercise, might not seem like much, but maybe that's not your goal. You do basically moderate cardio every day and you just watch what you eat. As we said, it's like, again, if you're, if you're having like a pack of cupcakes, like with your, with your dinner or honestly, I'm pretty bad for this. Like you have fucking cupcake. <laughs> Uh, yeah no that that's kind of my issue is that what i've gained like over the last um three i was in shape three years ago but uh like again eating sweets and stuff in today's society like hey when you go to the grocery store they're easily accessible they're honestly and the schools lied to you like produce is not cheaper than sweets cheap sweets are dirt cheap compared to the quote-unquote healthy foods but it's also it's making that financial uh, commitment as well where you want to again you want to eat your greens you want to eat your lean meats. You want it like your lean meats. Like I'm talking about like boneless, like chicken thigh, blah, blah, blah. Not that, not that eating like chicken, not, not that like fat is necessarily bad for you. That's another thing people get mixed up in. Oh, absolutely. Like, like I said, I, I wasn't joking. It's a fucking scam. They're like, oh my gosh, the fats, the fats. The stored fat is the enemy. How do you get rid of that? That's the enemy. Not the intake fats. The intake fats, your body still needs to use that. And I, I, we've talked about the term ketosis more than a couple of times. Ketosis happens naturally with fasting after the 8 to 12 hour period. Every hour after that, is, your body's on full on ketosis, 100%. So I talk about doing it at night. Cool. I'm on one meal a day at supper time. I go to sleep. By the time I wake up, boom, my body's in ketosis at the most active points of my day. Now we're going, back, but we're talking about the, yeah. the calorie count. But and the premise is very simple. You need to figure out where your starting maintaining point is, and then you need to lower at that point. You need less calories than what you're taking in. But it's where it comes from. It's where you get your calories from. The more of the complexity, less le less of these fucking artificial sugar sweetened fucking nonsense. Yeah, no. And I guess it's just in conclusion, just like, again, by just simply like re reducing the amount of saturated sugars you consume and just being more mindful about portion control is another big thing like you don't need three helpings of like chick of like three helpings of chicken like at your dinner yes it may be quote unquote like healthy alternative whatever but it's yeah, still, yeah. Uh, just as like good as any... a chick-fil-a no exactly <laughs> it's like so again like with portion just portion control like being mindful of what you buy like that alone sounds simple but that in itself can basically like a improve heart health, which as you get older, heart health is like huge. Like it, it also just, it helps with your blood pressure. It helps with, again, like it reduces the risk of getting type two diabetes and other health issues. So just honestly, just, just read your labels, walk more and be mindful what you eat. And you're already at, and you're already on the track. You're, you're already on track. Yeah. Anyways, so that kind of brings up all of the points. Guys, you want to shred the weight, you want to drop the pounds, there's the three ways. We'll leave links down in the description just to kind of, yeah, do, do your own research. Take a look at these things. Look at what the viable option is. You know what, I, I, I joked about the calorie counting method just being a, a little bit of the bitch's way out, but you know what? Anything is better than where you were at. And honestly, even if you just stick to the calorie deficit and yeah, just being mindful of what you're eating, like I know... Ben is a little more of like, uh, you know, I'm extreme, extreme, but no, like, honestly, it's name like, of the show's Giga Chad. <laughs> like, I mean, even whenever I was at my most fit, it was when I was on the carnivore diet because that basically almost fucking killed me. Honestly, it was um, no, it was whenever I was just you know just making changes, and then three months later, I'm like, oh my god, I'm 45 pounds less, and now I can comfortably be on Tinder, and I can you know like I can reel them in. Uh, didn't happen, but you know. In theory, it could have. Oh, only bitches use Tinder. Go, go out there, <laughs> talk, talk to a, talk, go out there and actually talk to a chick. Bitches use Tinder. We're gonna do an episode on that. Like, which is just be you teaching me the ways. The Mary, Te teaching you know? the ways. <laughs> There's no ways. You just go up there. You, you start a fucking conversation. Not anybody who's going on Tinder is just looking for. Let, let's be honest. They're looking for a quick buck. Oh hell, hell yeah. yeah. There, there's there, there's nothing simple about that, and we'll go through that. Oh my gosh, man! I can't wait till we actually get fully blown on this show because there's so many things about being a man that, in today's day and age, they're telling you everything the opposite. They're saying, "Yeah, yeah, go ahead, fuck everybody you want, fuck this, fuck that." Oh, hey, you know what? You want to fucking 
get, get chunky on 300 cap gates? Yo, that's okay. Nobody should be fat shaming you. No, no, no. Come on. Wake the fuck up. It's time to be a man. It's time to get back to things. It's time to take better care of yourself. It's time to take better care of your surroundings, your environment. And the only place that starts from is with you. It's only with you. That's where that starts. Yeah, and that basically brings why the two reasons why I'm on the podcast. Number one, I'm more of the lame man's here. I was, <laughs> a part of the reason he brought me on wasn't to be a co-host. It was just to be like, I need to change this man. Which, you know what? To be fair, I'm all changeable. I'm moldable. But also, the second thing is so we can throw to the outro. Throw to the outro? Oh, yo, Keeps, you want to do something with us, man? You got one guy who's a receding hairline is a weirdo who speaks sense of humor. And, well, uh, some, some, guys, some of us are too far gone. So, you know what? Yeah, send us some minoxidil and some microneedling packages and we'll, uh, we'll I will not keep use that it. for you. Be who you are. <laughs> Unless you're fat, which we're both working on. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm feeling brother. fucking better, man. Oh, I'm, fucking, brother, I'm, talking I'm fucking broad shoulders. I'm fucking pumped, man. Things are good. Things are Things good. Things are good, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, so, so. The so guys, at the end of the day, listen, there's nothing wrong with being a man. You have to want it. You have to strive for it. You have to fucking crave for it. I have to wear sunglasses. That's you okay. need... The Giga Complex. That's the show! What the, what the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, just, what the fuck was that? <laughs> trying to figure out as you're... Nah, nah, nah. You're like, yo... Was... <laughs> trying to figure out nah, why nah, nah, you're nah. in the outro. <laughs> Pump it up. Shoulders broad. You need the Giga Complex. That was... This was your boy, Man of Bruise and Big Benny B. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to be a man? Time to drop some fucking pounds. Stay hard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I'm glad I delayed my fucking laugh on Because <laughs> that's where we cut it, right? And then and then we have a boober section. <laughs> well, I think you keep the laugh in. <laughs> and then you, you laugh and then no, you, no, no, no. you cut okay. on the laugh. Because I want, I want it serious and then we can have oh, yeah, we, go, we go, can go. Do the bloopers recording. <laughs>